A horde of off-road vehicles swarms in for a kill in a rarely seen side of ecotourism. Tourists armed with digital cameras and mobile phones try to capture the moment as their drivers jockey for the best view. This is the dream pushed by people such as Eduardo Gonçalves and Ricky Gervais, who campaign against hunting tourism and propose these kinds of invasive photo safaris instead. We have the same situation in Kruger, where we have guys with, who travel around with, uh, with uh, vehicles, open vehicles with tourists, uh, and they're in radio contact. And in, in, if there's lion sighting or leopard, they just come charging in. Uh, and irrespective of you having respect for animals and keeping your distance, they would just barge in um, to the extent where they've just chased away the lions, they've chased away the leopard, um, just because of a lack of, of, of respect. The flaw in the vision of the self-proclaimed animal-loving celebrities is that combined, the tourists in these cars bring in a tiny proportion of the conservation cash of a solo hunter. And it's not necessarily the tourists, but I think it's the drivers which of the vehicles which, which do this. Um, but it's, it's, just, it's just a bad scenario, Ben. Uh, I, there's no respect for the animals, um, nothing at all. Uh, and, and this is the result of, of, of National Geographic and, and those programs where the animals are close by and they all get names and, and they become humans uh, and that sort of, sort of thing. So we, we can't see that as conservation, um, irrespective of the money which goes into Serengeti and that which is important for conservation, that, that just cannot happen. It's not just the wide open plains that are feeling the effects of ecotourism. My big big friend Barry York was up in, in uh, Serengeti two years ago uh, on the blue wildebeest migration and they stopped on the uh, uh, Tanzanian side of the Mara River uh, and, and he said within half an hour that they stopped there, there were such a lot of cars on the Tanzanian side that the wildebeest didn't really have space to move through to get to the river. And on the other side, where they had to get out, there were such a lot of vehicles on the Kenyan side that the wildebeest couldn't get through. That created a situation where a large number, Barry said the number was, he counted 35, uh, 35 uh, of these animals falling back into the river, drowning and being eaten by crocodiles. The 2022 Kigali Conference on the Future of Africa's National Parks split the use of wildlife into consumptive, meaning hunting, and non-consumptive, meaning ecotourism. It looks like they got the words the wrong way round. Some research being done now, uh, specifically on the effect of tourists around the, the the crossing points in the Mara River. Because of the blockage, wrong words, but because the, the animals can't move as freely as they used to, uh, you know, it's, it's actually unnatural. If we, if we talk about purism in conservation and we start talking about biodiversity conservation and we talk about habitat conservation, then that kind of scenario uh, destroys habitat and it definitely destroys biodiversity specifically small small stuff which we cannot always always see but it does it does have an effect on that there's no doubt about that